Hey, how are you? Welcome to You Can Draw a Comic Book Mondays. Uh, this is episode two. Now, in the last video, uh, we did an exercise copying a drawing of Captain Underpants. And I'll put a link to that here. Today, I want to show you how I developed a character of my own. And I'll show you how to draw it. And also, we'll look at some of the characters that influenced my final character. Okay, let's start by uh, drawing my character. And we're going to start with a very simple shape, nothing but a circle. So if you're going to follow along, draw a circle on your paper. Next, we're going to put his neck in, so a couple simple lines right there for the neck. Now for his body, we're going to draw kind of a kidney shape right here. So simply draw that in and then we're going to go back up here to the uh, head and put some details in and let me show you how we're going to do that. Okay we've just started on the head and we put in a couple of these scallop lines right here. Now let me show you how to turn this into something that you can recognize. Now we put a couple of ears in here couple of eyes, kind of a funny long nose, and a mouth. Now we have a cat. Okay, now we put a little shadow in here for his nose. Erase the line that was coming through his nose. Get that line out of there. And the cat has whiskers. But this cat kind of needs a shave. So we show that by a couple of straight lines here. Yeah, there's a couple of arms, a couple of lines coming down like this, very simple. And hands are always a problem. So I've decided I'm going to only do three fingered hands. So let's put those in. So now you can see a couple of hands there. And these are very simple. Uh, I kind of make it look like he's wearing gloves by just drawing a line around here, line around here and ending the arm right here. Now in order to make fingers, kind of make a long shape here, a couple of round shapes here, and a little bit of the thumb here. Keep it very simple. Here again on this hand, you can see the glove. His thumb sticking out. And one, two, three lines. Now we had to have some legs, so we very simple uh, leg and not much detail in the feet, just kind of uh, indicate feet here. And you can see here is a little shadow because anything you draw you want to ground. Now he's standing or walking on the ground so you want to show that. Now a cat would have a tail so we indicate a little tail here. Well, now we have the basic drawing. Let's ink that in and see what it looks like. Now that we have it all outlined, let's go ahead and ink in the body because most of this is going to be black. So I'm going to use a Sharpie with a pretty good point on the end. You can see that. Okay, there he is inked in. And there's one little thing I add. Oops, forgot a line here. One little thing I add, and I didn't start drawing the cat this way. I basically started uh, with this, and then I decided, well, let me add some fur. Cats have fur. So I started doing this. And you may wonder where I got my idea for the cat. And it's a combination of a number of things, but uh, one of the influence was uh, one of the influences, I should say, was Crazy Cat, which was drawn by George Harriman around 1904. But I'm going to show you Crazy Cat here on the screen, and uh, you can kind of see where I got some of the ideas for this cat from him. Now there's the finished cat. I'll turn it this way so you can see it a little better. 
There he is. That was my idea for a character. Now let's take a look at uh, how I put him in a scene. Now oh, there he is sitting in a chair and of course uh, he's got some things on his mind he's wondering about. Now, there's one thing I want you to notice about him sitting in that chair. There's about four little lines that make it look like he's really sitting in the chair. And that's these four little lines right here. His elbow is sunk down into the chair by these four little lines. Now that, to me, makes him look like he's sitting in the chair. Otherwise, he would just kind of be on it rather than in it. Now I'll put this up on the screen so you can see the whole cartoon. So I hope that was helpful to you and I hope you'll join me next Monday where we continue on with You Can Draw a Comic Book Mondays. I'll see you then.